from the book of um, Psalm. I think we have English person. 127 verse 3, Psalm. 127 verse 3. <coughs> Happy to those who have the mean. Is that what the Bible is saying there? <coughs> but this means many, again, is challenging. Many of which are not in the sky. But you think of our. You know what you think of in which more good. You know, children are from God and they are a blessing. They are not angels. Some people are talking as like if they are angels. A child will never be an angel. Angel is an angel. How can a child be an angel? Ninja Sayo Miyamalai. How can a child be an angel? A child is a blessing from God. God. When you count our blessings from God, children are blessings. And that is the Bible talks about, they stand in as arrows. What is the work of an arrow? Shoot an enemy. There. For those blessed are those who have the myth, because when the attack is there, they are comforted. Comforted. You know, sometimes when there is maybe a funeral at home, or maybe an arambi, or whatever in the house, the arrows will be looked for. And those who are with them and regarded them as a blessing from God are comforted. Because nani letter e, nani letter e, nani letter e, work is so easy because you have been attacked. And the reason why David was making a remark in verse 3, that there are blessings. Some are there, but are not blessings now. Instead of being an arrow to defend the family, they are an arrow to strike the family wall again, if they are not been brought to the hand of who? Of God. Lord. So we want, to brought, we want to bring them to the hands of God, so that they be an arrow, we support the, fa the family when the devil is attacking. But we don't want them to be an arrow who again attacks the parent. The ones outside will attack the parent. I don't watch the news, but I heard when I was going for something else that a lady was most was killing my father. You read it? Huh? A lady wanted to kill a father because of school, isn't it? Can you imagine your own child wants to kill you? And the intention was to kill. Luckily enough, the father is still in hospital. So that's also an arm, which we call at the tender age, I am one. So we want to dedicate them before the Lord so that while growing, they should grow in the hands of who? Lord. Fathers, take care of this here. When we are reading Ephesians 6, verse 1, 2, we are they are addressing the fathers. Don't be cruel to this child. That's what the Paul is saying. Don't be cruel to this children. Fathers. That is the underlying. Let us be responsible for this. Children. Otherwise, may God bless the families in Jesus' name. Amen. That you just come.
eternal Father in heaven, we have brought the young ones who are the blessings of their parents before you are grown. Accept them when they are start, starting this world. Be with them, Lord, and protect them. From harm and danger of the devil, Lord, even by illness, which are attacking children these days, prevent them from. And I want to dedicate the parents to thy table and give them knowledge and wisdom to take care of the children so that they can be an arrow to help the parents in attacking the devil, Lord. As they have been brought here today, may you start growing them, for I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You can pick the seats. Uh, just one announcement before I leave. I'm rushing.